There is a lot of confusion surrounding the terms flight model and ship handling when it comes to Star Citizen. Many citizens, including myself, incorrectly use these terms interchangeably, but they actually relate to different things. The flight model in a flight or space sim describes how the craft are influenced by, or how the laws of physics are implemented. There are two ends of the spectrum, realistic or simplified physics. Both realistic and simplified flight models are set within the game engine. Both have advantages and disadvantages. Realistic or Newtonian flight model require all craft to obey Newton's three laws of motion as they would in reality. Number one, an object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. Number two, force equals mass times acceleration. And number three, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This means that movement in space or an atmosphere requires some force to be applied to the ship to make it move. This can be lift, thrust, weight and drag in an atmosphere, or just thrust in space. In a Newtonian space simulator, you can usually see reaction mass being ejected from a rocket engine or reaction control thruster to provide thrust. In science fiction setting, this thrust can come from any number of propulsion methods, but in a Newtonian flight model, the result is still the same. A Newtonian physics flight model makes flight more complicated as the pilot and the ship's control system must account for and control the ship's inertia or drift to make changes in the ship's vector. In a realistic flight model, flying the ship becomes as much of a challenge as aiming the weapons. In a simplified, semi or non-Newtonian flight model, Newton's laws are modified or ignored in preference to making the craft move where the pilot or player demands without the need to account for any other force such as inertia. This makes movement and control of the craft much easier, requiring less skill and practice than a realistic system when it comes to piloting your ship. This can make the craft feel as if they are on rails. The simplified flight model tends to prioritise aiming over flying as the dominant skill required as the game tends to lean towards pointing with a mouse. An example of non-Newtonian space shooter is Everspace by Rockfish Games. Both these flight models dictate what physics laws are applied to the craft in the game, but don't dictate how the ships actually fly. Star Citizen's flight model is 100% realistic or Newtonian. This is set within the engine and is coded by Mr. John Pritchett at the LA office of COG. This means that all vehicles, objects and characters all obey Newton's laws. How each ship performs within the flight model is referred to as ship handling. Ship handling is defined by the parameters set for each movement, rotation and translation from ship to ship. Each game is different in this manner, but in Star Citizen the system that controls and defines how each ship will behave in flight is the Intelligent Flight Control System or IFCS. The IFCS uses values for each property that is defined in the game's XML files. These values include maximum velocities, acceleration and jerk along X, Y and Z axes along with rotation rates in roll, pitch and yaw. Changing these values within the XML files allows for the developers to set how each ship behaves within the engine's flight model. This allows each ship to be tuned to make each unique and make sense for the ship's intended role. Once delta patching is implemented into Star Citizen, quick adjustments of each ship handling and balancing can be completed by the devs to keep our ships where they need to be quickly. The flight model, however, does not change. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.